All right, what's good, y'all? Here driving to work, so if I'm not looking at the camera, forgive me. But um, I just wanted to, a thought came to mind I wanted to share with y'all. So average's failure means that there are going to be some conversations that you have to have that you don't necessarily want to have. And for me, that has meant there are conversations that I should have been having with people um, that I've avoided because I naturally don't like conflict, okay? And I think I've spoken about this a little bit before, but I figured I'd um, go a little bit more in depth into it. I'm not a confrontational person, uh, whether in relationships or what have you, um, or, or, or just whether it be at the job, etc. A part of that is just naturally a part of my personality. I I like peace. I like to make sure that everybody um, is on the same page. I like to uh, know that everybody is having a good time, and I like to I like to please people. So uh, when I feel like there's a disconnect, when I feel like something is off, um, I don't really like the feeling or the 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 tension that comes with that. And that's not a good thing, okay? Well, it's a good thing that I feel that way because it's good to not want to be at odds and at war with people. But in spite of that, if we're not going to be average, if I'm not going to be average, then that means that there are certain conversations I'm going to have to be willing to have with certain people. Um, I'm going to have to put myself through uh, maybe hearing what I don't want to hear about myself. I'm going to have to, uh, even if I disagree with somebody, be willing to be patient enough with them to hear what it is that they have to say um, before I go jumping in with what I want to say. I have to, in essence, be a listener. And I also have to um, show the person that, listen, I I value that you have an opinion, um, though I might disagree with it, and find respectful ways for me to share my opinion with them. So I'm challenging you all today. Uh, some of you might know some different types of uh, challenging conversations. Some of those conversations might be with um, an ex, you know, spouse or what have you. That maybe it's the the parent of your child, but y'all just have never been on the same page. Y'all aren't together. Uh, maybe it's with your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, who you know they got your back, but at times, you know the. Um, the 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 conversation y'all aren't on the same page y'all at each other's throats and you haven't figured out how to handle that in a healthy way yet so you just avoid it and that's how I do usually right me instead of having those types of conversations what I'll do is I'll just sit back and say all right like it's 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 whatever I'm just gonna leave it be I'm just not gonna deal with it because I just want to keep peace um, but sometimes you might have peace but you won't have the success that you're looking for. You'll have peace, but you won't have the results that you're looking for because um, sometimes in order to get the result, you have to go through the conflict and learn to deal with that conflict. So that being said, I'm, I'm challenging you, you all uh, to learn how to deal with those conflict uh, scenarios, deal with having those conversations. Maybe it's with a boss, um, uh, you know, or maybe it's with another loved one. Um, but have the conversation, find a way. If you can't think about how to have the conversation, pray about it, talk to somebody you trust, talk to a mentor, what have you, who can help you, uh, figure out, okay, how do I approach this? All right. So hope that was helpful. Average is failure as always. All right. Go above, go beyond. And let's go to extra mile y'all. Holla. Peace.